Hello and good morning everyone. I don't know, I feel like I'm a news broadcaster or something. That was a weird intro. But good morning. I have not vlogged in several days. There really hasn't been much going on. Um, today feels like normal after the week off we had last week with spring break. Grayson is at preschool right now. Hopefully he's having a really good time. Um, I was so happy to get him back at preschool just to have him learn more and um, just get back to that routine. So he's at preschool right now. I've got Porter down here. He's drinking some milk. He decided to just lay right there on the hardwood floor. Hi, Porter. You say hi. 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 This week is uh, birthday week, kind of, I guess. Um, we're gearing up for Grayson's birthday. He turns Hi. four on next Monday. So it's kind of hard because his birthday is like at the beginning of the week. So it's like, is this his birthday week? Is next week his birthday week? I don't really know. But anyway, yes, yeah, so we are getting ready for his birthday. His birthday party is the day before his birthday on Sunday. So I have ordered decorations and I'm going to order food. I've already ordered ordered a cake and cookies. I have to pick those up on Saturday. Today, while Grayson's at preschool, I had Porter help me wrap some birthday presents. So here's the birthday presents I have wrapped. It's just like a book, a sticker book. Um, I got him like uh, magnetic like pieces that you can um, like make designs with. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. I got him another book and then a camera. I have two more gifts that I have to wrap. I bought him two different like Picasso tile sets. Um, we have a, a bunch of Picasso tiles, but we don't have any that have like curves or any that are like window pieces. So these are the two ones that I got him. I got him like this one. It has the curve pieces, which we don't have any of, and then these cool like window pieces so we can make like just different kind of buildings. And then I got him this piece too, which is just like a whole bunch of different ones. Like they have like ends and just different kind of windows. So yeah, you can just make like different kind of stuff. Grayson is super into magnet tiles. Well, we call them magnet tiles, but we have Picasso tiles. They're the same thing. So I wanted to get him different kinds so we can build different designs because he kind of gets stumped sometimes. One of the presents that I got him was a whole idea booklet that just is a huge book of just different designs that you can make. Um, that you can follow and make designs. He's always using my phone and looking up on Google different designs. So I thought if I got him a book, I'd save my phone. <laughs> so that's one of the gifts that I got him. Here are some of the decorations that I got for his party. I have other ones downstairs, but this is like colorful, like string um, letters that I can hang from the ceiling. And then these are like string balls that go with it. And then this is like a uh, happy birthday banner. And then I guess you can use the letters and spell their names, so I thought that was really cool. I also have plates and napkins downstairs. I have a tablecloth downstairs too. I had the hardest time finding plates that were like alphabet themed, and in the end I didn't really get the ones that I wanted, but it was the, literally the only ones I could find. So they have like, it's not just alphabet, but it's like shapes and colors and stuff, so it kind of goes with it. I mean, it'll be fine, who cares? Like people just eat on plates. You, we can't open it. We have to wait for the party to open it, okay? We have to wait. So anyway, I ran out of wrapping paper. I have to go back downstairs and get more wrapping paper before I can keep wrapping. Porter's Maxie wants to open the, the decorations. We can't do that. So anyway, yes, busy week we have coming up, getting ready for Gray's birthday. I'm so excited that he's gonna turn four. It's so exciting. I think I just said excited twice. Okay, hang on, Porter had a meltdown. Anyway, uh, today's a busy day all in itself. We have preschool, I did groceries, I have to go pick Gray up in like a half hour. And then um, after work, Anthony and I are finally gonna go get our taxes done. We kinda waited till the last minute to do this. Usually we get it done in March. It's April 5th. I think ta tax day is like less than two weeks away but we've just been so busy and it's hard to find babysitters for the boys when we're already taking it up to go look at houses. But anyway, we're gonna go today and do our taxes and finally get that done. I'm interested to see how much money we'll get back in our tax return. I think it'll be pretty good amount. It usually is with like the child tax credit. 
and all that so we will see also update on the house situation we're still waiting to hear anything on the house that we're uh, a backup offer for i don't think we're gonna get it inspections have passed and they're still like they haven't run away yet so i don't think it, anything's gonna come of it but we're still in the running i guess also we went and looked at a house on sunday and it was awesome location looked awesome from the outside but the inside was just not it the layout was weird and it needed a lot of work so we passed on that one and we're gonna go look at a house on thursday so two days from now just came on the market i'm iffy about it it's I think it's gonna feel small. It's technically it's smaller square footage than what our house is. Our house is like 2,100 square feet. This one is 18 something square feet. But with the basement included, because they have a finished basement in their house, it comes to like almost 2,600 square feet. So like technically it's more than our house, but because our house is, doesn't have a finished basement. So I just feel like it might feel small. Porter, sit down, let's put your shoes on. So we'll see, but we're gonna go and look at it. It looks really nice on the inside. The outside's kind of ugly, but <laughs> so anyway, we'll just see what we think. We might like it, we might not. The price is really good for it, but probably because it's just not very big. So we'll we'll check it out and I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, just busy, busy going to see houses, trying to get ready for a birthday party. Um, trying to get ready for Easter because Easter is a week after Gray's birthday party So I already got like all the Easter stuff busy busy time. I'm gonna try and vlog a little bit Of our day even though it's kind of busy um, Porter wants to go outside. So I guess I'm done wrapping. I only have two more um, Objects to wrap so I'll just have to do that. Maybe I'll do it on Thursday when he's at preschool or I'll just do it at night. It's just hard when to, to do things at night because I just get tired and I just want to do nothing and wrapping's not very fun. I'm terrible at wrapping, so it's not something I enjoy doing. So anyway, we're outside. I'm gonna play with Porter. Um, oh, I, I wanted to say I have one more gift for Grayson that I'm gonna get him. And it's a uh, an online app the ABC mouse. Um, I've seen a lot of advertisements for it and I have a bunch of free apps downloaded on our iPad that Gray loves to play with. I only let him play with it for like an hour here, an hour there. Um, but they're all free and so like they're limited because they want you to buy it so that you get access to everything. But I don't do that. But I've heard really good things about the ABC mouse app and so I think I'm gonna buy it. There's an influencer on Instagram that I follow and she got a discount for like $45 for the year and so I think I'm gonna do that hopefully the discounts still active and um, I think I'm gonna buy that so that he has like a full access app that he can play with and I guess it's really good like educationally I don't know if you know anything about it let me know but that's my plan is I'm gonna that's gonna be one of his gifts too I feel like I got a lot for him this year but it's kind of like you know, at four years old, like, all the gifts that they want are, like, very cheap. Like, I got him a sticker book. It was, like, $5. So, um, I feel like I got him a lot of gifts, but it's just because they're all super cheap. And he's just such a good kid. Like, I just want to spoil him for his birthday. I, in my family, like, we made birthdays, like, a huge thing. Anthony's family, not so much. So, I just love to, like, shower him with gifts. And uh, I really want to do, like, something special on his birthday. We're thinking of maybe taking him to Chuck E. Cheese. Um, is that still a thing? There's one right down the road from my house. And I haven't been there since I was a kid, so I'm sure it's like totally different now, but we we're thinking of maybe doing that as something fun. And then maybe in the morning, like I was really wanting to take them to this like kids play place, but I have two kids and it seems like a big play place. So I'm scared to take both of them by myself. So I might ask my mom and see if she can either like come with me or just like keep Porter and watch him. It's hard because Gray's birthday is on a Monday this year, so like Anthony's working. I could ask him to take the day off, but it just seems kind of, I don't know, I guess if he wants to, he could, but it seems kind of silly. So anyway, I feel like I talked a lot, so sorry about that. <laughs> I'm just pushing Porter in the swing. He loves to swing. 
and the boys get very jealous because we only have one swing in our backyard and they both love to swing and Grace getting too big for the baby swing anyway so we really need a play set but obviously we're not gonna buy one if we're gonna move so this house that we're looking at in two days it has a really awesome play set in the backyard which would be nice to have but even if we buy a house that doesn't have one we'll just buy one install it yeah we will huh Porter's new word of the day is hooray hooray, hooray. and he can say happy can you say happy Hello. say happy no oh, okay he doesn't want to say it well he just comes up with new words every day huh say hooray <laughs> no. No. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to keep playing with the Porter and then I'll talk to you guys later. Whatever we end up doing, maybe I'll talk to Gray and see how preschool was. Hey guys, so it's a little later in the day. It's actually after nap time. Grayson actually took a nap today. Preschool must have really worn him out. And so Porter is still sleeping. It took him a while to fall asleep, so he's still sleeping, but Gray is up. Say hi, Gray. Hi, Gray. Did you have fun at preschool today? Yeah. Yeah? What did you do today at preschool? I drew a caterpillar. You drew a caterpillar? I drew dots. You put dots on him? Yeah. Yeah? What book did you read today? The Very Hungry Caterpillar. The Very Hungry Caterpillar? That's your favorite book. You have that whole book memorized. You love it so much. Yeah. Yeah, we actually haven't read it in a long time. There's an egg. There's an egg at preschool? Did you see butterflies at preschool? Yeah. Did your butterflies hatch from the caterpillar? Yeah. <gasps> were they in the net? No, in a cocoon. Oh, they were in a cocoon? Yeah. Oh, wow. That sounds like fun. Yeah, so I guess... Um, they read about the Very Hungry Caterpillar, which if you know, Grayson used to be obsessed with that book. I don't think he's as into it anymore. We haven't read it in a long time. But his birthday party last year when he turned three was Hungry Caterpillar themed because he loved that book so much. Um, so I guess they read it today and then um, they decorated it with like little dot um, paints. So I'll show you. This is what he made. It's so cute. I guess they had green and red ones and just decorated, so that's really cute. They sent a picture during spring break that said that one of the butterflies had like emerged. I didn't even know they were like hatching butterflies, but that probably went with the whole, they started out as caterpillars, went into cocoons and then came out as butterflies. I guess there's like whole kits you can get online where you can like grow your own butterflies. Um, I learned about it from the um, Busy Toddler on Instagram. If you're not following her, you should um, because she has really good activity ideas and her content is just hilarious. So um, anyway, yeah, I guess spring butterflies, very popular right now. So Gray's back from preschool and I'm hearing Porter on the monitor. Sounds like he is up. There he is, he's upset. So I need to go get him. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna go get him and then um, we are going to hang out just for a little bit, about an hour, and then we're gonna head to my parents' house. They're gonna watch the kids for Anthony and I while we go get our taxes done. And also the kids are um, due for a haircut. And we go to my dad because he's free and he does a good job. And the kids usually like it because they get to eat ice cream and watch shows while he gives them a haircut because he keeps them busy. And then they go for a swim in the hot tub afterwards, which is so special so <clears throat> that's our plans it's raining right now so we're just gonna have to stay inside unfortunately I was hoping to be able to take the boys outside but darn rain so anyway that's our plan I wanted to show you guys I'm doing something very sad I have to change out my diaper bag so I've had this diaper bag for a really long time my first ever diaper bag was just like a bag I didn't like it I wanted a backpack so this one's a backpack I think my mom got it like for cheap off of like Babies R Us when it was going out of style or like going out of business or whatever. I just love it. I love the color. It was so spacious. It had so many pockets. Um, but the problem is 
boop, <laughs> the handle came undone. And you don't realize how many times you reach for the handle till it's broken. So um, thankfully, I have another um, diaper bag. My mom got me this one. This one's really cool because I guess like for infants, it, it can extend itself and create like a bed. Uh, if you had a really small baby, which I don't have anymore, but it works as a diaper bag. It's a lot bigger than the one that I used to have. So it's just going to be an adjustment. But this one's really cool because it has two straps. So you could do it like a purse, but then it also has backpack straps. Like so use as a backpack. So we'll see how I like this one. Um, sad because I really enjoyed that diaper bag, but they just don't last very long. So I'm on to my new one. I just wanted to show you guys. This one's called the debug and I have no idea what what this one is because this is all that's on it's just a star so not uh, I might say it in the tag oh here we go here's the, here it is banna fish banna fish never heard of it but it was a good bag if you're looking for a bag that one was really good and I'll let you know how I like this one I just transferred everything over I'm about to throw this one away and then yeah that's what we're doing should we go get Porter yeah. Okay, let's go get him.